Dream debut for Critchley as Essex put up 500. A late wobble last night where Essex lost four wickets for 40 runs had given Kent a glimmer of hope going into the second day of the hosts 272 for four, but they'd need wickets fast. And fast wickets they got as Jackson Bird nicked off Tom Wesley for 37. That wicket brought new signing Adam Rossington to the crease. Rossington had been the captain of Northamptonshire, but after being replaced weeks before the season started, arranged a late move to Essex for the 2022 campaign. Alongside Matt Critchley, he pushed Essex past 300 and the pair brought up a 50 stand from 92 balls. They strolled past 350, but it was Darren Stevens who put an end to the partnership, his first wicket of the season, a beauty to dismiss Rossington. Adam Wheater was the next man in and he and Critchley went to lunch together with the score 359 for six. After the break, Critchley, who's on debut for Essex, having joined from Derbyshire, went to a well-crafted 50 as him and Wheater looked to take Essex past 400. Any hope that Kent had of making a breakthrough seemed wide of the mark as Critchley and Wheater continued to grind down the bowlers. Halfway through the afternoon session and Essex were 424 for six. But with the partnership nearing 100, Wheater was bowled by Matt Quinn with the score on 447. Critchley reached a century off his 148th delivery, a dream debut for the 25-year-old all-rounder, who if Simon Harmer expects to be absent on international duty, is set to play a major role for his new county with both bat and ball. Critchley put on a further 22 runs with Shane Snater before the tail ender was clean bowled as Kent picked up their eighth wicket of the innings with Nathan Gilchrist claiming a second. New batter was overseas signing Mark Steckerty, whose brief innings came to an end as he pulled a short ball from Gilchrist straight to mid-wicket. Batting with the tail, Critchley looked to speed things up, but the innings came to an end when he was eventually dismissed for 132. Essex all out for 514, and that too was T. Critchley was the star of today after Brown and Cook's twin tons yesterday, and whilst no Kent bowler suffered horrific figures, Kilchrist and Bird's 3 for 80s were the best on show. In reply, Kent got off to a brisk start reaching 35 without loss in just the seventh over. Ben Compton, cousin of former England opener Nick, finding the boundary several times on debut. But Daniel Bell Drummond would soon fall to Sam Cook, LBW, the ball nipping in and possibly keeping a bit low on the right-hander. Kent got their heads down though, with new man Tawinda Moyeyi helping them move past 50. This a particular highlight from the much fancied 21 year old dispatching Shane Snater. They'd finished the day 122 for one, still a long way behind Essex, but a decent start on what looks like a flat surface that the batsman at the crease will be hoping to take advantage of tomorrow. <laughs>